Hello and welcome to my let's play uh, of the Dragon Age Origins Origins uh, where I'm going to play the uh, human noble background uh, until we arrive at Ostagar. So uh, first I'm going to select um, I'm going to create a character that looks like the uh, concept art for the human uh, noble origin. So he's a male, uh, he's human, and uh, as far as I can uh, see he is also a warrior. Um, so I'm going to go Greetings. ahead and create a preset that looks uh, as much as possible as the, um, the concept art. So I'm going to pause here and I'll be back in a second. Okay, so I've, choose, uh, I've chosen the look for my uh, noble um, human and uh, I think I'm, I'm not really good at making uh, uh, characters. I can sit for hours and make them, but um, I based this on a, on a preset that I downloaded. It's a mod. Uh, maybe I'll make his uh, nose just a little bit bigger, like that. Um, and uh, this is the longest hair I could get him. Um, so I'm going to choose. I created his portrait. I'm going to choose a uh, voice, and I think. Um, so. The personality I'm going to give him is very, very aggressive uh, and he's going to solve problems uh, with force. He uh, does not really care for the poor and needy. And um, in contrast to the uh, um, dwarf commoner that I uh, made a playthrough for, she was focused on, or she would be, you know, more into getting a profit out of everything and what's in it for me and uh, etc. He's also interested in uh, profit, um, but he wants power and, uh, um, you know, he wants to advance in life and uh, be something. Um, and so he has this noble upbringing and for him it's going to be more like so what's in it for me will I advance in power will I uh, get money and he won't be afraid to tread on little people he does not have a lot of understanding for uh, the not so noble classes and the not so human races uh, I think I'm going to make him a spoiled brat so how do you do? Uh, the cocky voice will suit him, I think. Right, casting. Focus. This is not good. Coming through. Off I go. I don't think he he would be experienced. Greetings. Well, that didn't work. Well, this is odd. My weapon is useless. Move aside. How do you do? Okay, so I'm going to go with the cocky one. Um, right. So he is a warrior, and uh, I would I'm going to make him a damage dealer and not a tank. Uh, so I'm going to put all points into most of the points into dexterity, um, into uh, strength, dexterity, and constitution, but focus mostly on strength. Uh, so for now, one in each, like this, and then like that. So strength 18, dexterity 15, constitution 14. Um, actually, you know what? Maybe I should go with one more in cunning at least. Okay. Um, so um, I. Later in the game I would give him more combat tactics, but it's not necessary at this point. Um, so, uh, I would give him expert combat training. And um, I'd like to give him some offensive talents for now. Um, so, 
I'm not going to go with the um, with any of the warrior skills for now. Um, he would be a dual weapon warrior. Um, so uh, one point in dual weapon training and. Um, so this is a uh, mode, let's see, it's sustain. When in this mode the character strikes with both weapons simultaneously, attacks cause more damage, but the character cannot inflict regular critical hits or backstabs. I don't like that. So a dual weapon sweep to deal with um, uh, multiple targets. Okay. So here we go. Whenever the game can decide to load. For generations, your family, the Kuzlans, has stewarded the lands of Hyever, earning the loyalty of your people with justice and temperance. When your country was occupied by the Orlesian Empire, your father and grandfather served the embattled kings of your land. Today, your elder brother takes up House Kuzlan's banner in service to the crown. Not against the men of Orlais, but against the bestial darkspawn rising in the south. I trust then that your troops will be here shortly. I expect they will start arriving tonight, and we can march tomorrow. I apologize for the delay, my lord. This is entirely my fault. No, no. The appearance of the Darkspawn in the south has us all scrambling, doesn't it? I only received the call from the king a few days ago myself. I'll send my eldest off with my men. You and I will ride tomorrow just like the old days. True. But we both had less grey in our hair then. And we fought all lesions, not monsters. <laughs> At least the smell will be the same. I'm sorry, Pop, I didn't see you there. How? you remember my son. I see he's grown into a fine young man. Pleased to see you again, lad. Um, so, um, <clears throat> and you, Arl Howe? My daughter Delilah asked after you. Perhaps I should bring her next time. Um, I'd like that. Good. She goes on about your prowess as a warrior. I think you have an admirer, young man. At any rate, Pop, I summoned you for a reason. While your brother and I are both away, I'm leaving you in charge of the castle. Um, <clears throat> oh, so, um, he's going to be very eager to join this fight, so what? Why can't I go into battle with you and Fergus? I'm certain you'd more than prove yourself, but I am not willing to deal with your mother if you join the war. She'd kill me if I let you go. She's already twisted into knots about Fergus and me going. Uh, if you don't send me, I'll kill you. Uh, and I'm not going to be a baby going, that, that's not fair, I want to fight. Um, I'm going to go like, okay, let me talk to her. I'll convince her. I doubt that. You know your mother, and she made it clear there is no debate. This is no needless task. I ask you to take a great responsibility. Only a token force is remaining here, and you must keep peace in the region. You know what they say about mice when the cat is away, yes? There's also someone you must meet. Please, show Duncan in. It is an honor to be a guest within your hall, Tyrn Kuzland. Your Lordship, you didn't mention that a Grey Warden would be present. Duncan arrived just recently, unannounced. Is there a problem? Of course not. But a guest of this stature demands certain protocol. I am at a disadvantage. We rarely have the pleasure of seeing one in person, that's true. Pup, Brother Aldous taught you who the Grey Wardens are, I hope. Um, so, since I'm an educated nobleman, I would know who the Grey Wardens are. Um, so, um, they're an order of great warriors. They are the heroes of legend, 
who ended the blights and saved us all. Duncan is looking for recruits before joining us and his fellow wardens in the south. I believe he's got his eye on Sir Gilmore. If I might be so bold, I would suggest that your son is also an excellent candidate. Honor though that might be, this is one of my sons we're talking about. Um, and yes, uh, I would I would see something really cool in that. Um, uh, so um, <laughs> perhaps that would get me into battle. Um, so I just go like, so is there any reason I shouldn't join them? You did just finish saying that Grey Wardens are heroes, old friend. I have not so many children that I'll gladly see them all off to battle. Unless you intend to invoke the right of conscription. Have no fear. While we need as many good recruits as we can find, I have no intention of forcing the issue. Pup, can you ensure that Duncan's requests are seen to while I'm gone? Um... So... Um... I'm still going to to be... No, I'm not going to be... Yes, I'm I, I am going to be whiny. Um... I'm going to point out that, you know... Don't strain my abilities or anything. And don't strain my patience. In the meantime, find Fergus and tell him to lead the troops to Ostagar ahead of me. Uh, oh, but uh, I'd like to stay and talk to Duncan. You'll have plenty of time after we're gone. We must discuss the battle plans in the south. Be a good lad and do as I've asked. We'll talk soon. Okay. So, um, yeah, in this origin, uh, it actually starts off quite, 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 uh, in, in the beginning. I can run around and talk a lot, uh, before any action actually starts. Um, so I'll just, uh, let's see here, how's personal guard, um, let's see who we have here. <coughs> Maybe I can, uh say another word, you know, be a little bit cheeky and talk to Duncan anyway. I'm sorry, but I believe your father wishes to talk to the Arl and myself alone. Uh, may we speak later? Your father has left you in charge of the castle? Then I will see you at dinner tomorrow, if not sooner. I look forward. I would prefer sooner, actually. Or I was hoping you might test me for the recruitment. I would prefer sooner. Then let us meet in the morning. I will seek you out before Sir Gelmore's testing. Would that be sufficient? Um, I guess it will do. <laughs> Until the morning, then. I look forward to it. I'm gonna give some final words to Alho. Yes? Um, <clears throat> I'm going to go on. Um, your daughter is interested in me. The topic has come up from time to time. The young and their infatuations. Um, right. I, I got the impression Delilah didn't like me. I'm sure that was years ago. People change. To be honest, I have no expectations. And your father seems determined to let you find your own way. If something did happen, well, we'd address it as befits a family of our stature. Uh, we'll see. I'm sure. There will be much to discuss once I return. Um, uh, I trust the delay with your men is nothing th serious? Poor weather, I believe. Their progress has been slow, but it's nothing you need worry about. Um, so, um, yeah, I should go. Another time, then. So this is really cool. This is my dad! I can't actually remember if this is in the original game. It might be mod. <laughs> Maybe that's bad of me if I can't remember. And this is my mum. And, yep, yeah, let's go talk to my mum. Huh. 
So, if we look at the quest log... I need to go find Fergus. There you are. Your mother told me the Terran had summoned you, so I didn't want to interrupt. Um... <coughs> Hello to you too, Sir Gilmore. So this is a guy that uh, Duncan was going to recruit. Pardon my manners, my lord. It's simply that I've been looking all over the castle for you. I fear your hound has the kitchens in uproar once again. And is threatening to leave. Uh... Yeah, so I'm not going to be that good to Nan, because for me, she's just a servant. Okay, so I'm going to go low. Why look for me? Do something. You know these Mabari hounds. They listen only to their master. Anyone else risks having an arm bitten off. Uh, right. Uh, then I guess I should go and collect him. That would be wise, before Nan tears down the walls. You're quite lucky to have your own Mabari warhound, you know. Smart enough not to talk, my father used to say. Of course, that means he's easily bored. Nan swears he confounds her just to amuse himself. At any rate, your mother would have me accompany you until the matter is settled, shall we? Um. <clears throat> yeah, so, okay, to the kitchen then. Just follow the yelling. When Nan's unhappy, she makes sure everyone knows it. So I got a new quest. And so I need to go and see what the cook wants. Why my dog is being so... <sighs> barky. You can hear it. <laughs> All right. Get that bloody mutt out of the larder. But mistress, it won't let us near. If I can't get into that larder, I'll skin both of you useless elves. I swear it. Uh... Calm down, good woman. We've come to help. You and you. Your bloody mongrel keeps getting into my larder. That beast should be put down. Um, <clears throat> perhaps you should lock your larder tighter. If I locked it any tighter, we couldn't get in. Oh, dear. Mistress, calm down, please. That's it. I'll quit. Inform the turner. I'll go and cook at some nice estate in the Banorn. Nan, please. We'll get the dog. Calm down. Just get him gone. I've enough to worry about with a castle full of hungry soldiers. You two, stop standing there like idiots. Get out of the way! Okay, let's see what my doggy's got for me. Oh, look at that mess. How did he even get in here? <laughs> this dog is so cute. <laughs> oh god. Um Right, so what is smart boy you are? Oh yes you are. Now I'm not going to be like all la di da, -da with my dog, so I'm gonna go like are you trying to tell me something, boy? So that's his name, boy. You all saw it. He does seem like he's trying to tell you something. Wait. Did you hear that? So Boy. Bad. Right. Um, so I got doggy in the party now as well. Uh, let's see if I have I have the Kuslin Royal Dagger. I'll use that one. And da, 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 plus one to all attributes. And these are stuff that um, uh, extra packs I got with the game. And I can't use this yet. Can't use that yet. I'll put this there. I'll put this up there. Okay, so I, I got a bloody little knife. Doesn't matter. Alright, so let's check out dog's tactics. Growl. War dog. Default, aggressive. Why doesn't he have. Oh, it's because he has. Enemy. Any. Attack. Right. 
save. And Ethan. I wonder what you have. <coughs> you. Scrapper? Oh no, that's me. <laughs> I'm Eden. <laughs> so, um, what did I have? Uh, enemy health, shield bash, enemy, honey, and fuel sweep. Okay. Enemy. Um, enemy. I want enemy. Um, attacking with that. Oh, there it was last. Uh, so attacking using melee attack. Okay, and so Gilmore. Um, you should be aggressive, and you should uh, be defender. There we go. Okie dokie. So, let's kill Rest some rats. And I'm off. Here I am, killing rats! Giant rats? It's like the start of every bad adventure tale my grandfather used to tell. Your hound must have chased them in through their holes. Looks like he wasn't raiding the larder after all. Yeah, so that's a really, really nice Easter egg. Uh, <laughs> about him saying uh, it's like the, the beginning of any great adventure tale. Um, my my fondest rat killing memory is uh, Fallout, Fallout 2, actually. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to I'm going to agree. Um, yeah, certainly looks like uh, it certainly looks that way. Those were rats from the Kokari Wilds. Best not to tell Nan. She's upset enough as it is. But seeing as you've got your Mabari well in hand, I'll be on my way. I'm to prepare for the arrival of more of the Isle's men. Okay, bye-bye. Right, bo uh, boy. Uh, let's loot. Don't really need stuff like this, because I'm not going to sell it here. Um... There he is, as brazen as you please, licking his chops after helping himself to the roast, no doubt. Yes, well, what can you do? Look at him now. Snuck into my larder once again and makes off like a free thief, he does. Oh, mistress, there are rats in the larder. Big ones. Oh, looks like the dog killed them. Oh, I bet that dog led those rats into there to begin with. <laughs> oh, don't even start with the sad eyes. I'm immune to your so-called charms. Here, then. Take these port bits and don't say that Nan never gives you anything. Bloody dog. Thank you, my lord. Now we can get to work. That's right, you two. Quit standing about. Yep. Um, so, I'm going to go look for my mother. Uh, I might as well just check in here. Oh, it's locked. No. Oh, I opened it. Yes, because I have a mod. Um, so if I'm not a lock picker, right. I can bash stuff open. Righty, righty. Oh, wait, where am I? Uh, so this is the great hall where we started, and here uh, I'm going to go up here for Fergus, but I, I'd like to check out this area down here first, and talk to people. Huh. So this is the service quarters. 
We will serve you while the Terran is away. Yes, you will. We will serve you well while the Terran is gone. Yes, you will. And I'm off. Nothing here. I'm not going to get. St I'm not going to pick up um, <laughs> stuff from my own servants, but. So I'm hitting tab all the time to get like highlights like this, so I can see if there is any good evening, loot, my anything. Lord. Oh yes, good evening. Anything else? Good evening, my lord. Yes, yes, good evening. Going. And uh, schmeck. It's not very nice of me. I'm just going to leave this. <laughs> I totally broke down the door. Didn't mean to. So this is the entrance to our keep. <laughs> I keep breaking the place apart. <laughs> uh, never mind. Um, come on, keyboard. Alright. So this is the chapel. Let's go and see what they have for us in here. Of duty guard. We can talk to uh, Mother Malol. Maker, prepare a place for us. Redeem our world from sin. Forgive our transgressions. Maker, forgive us all. Hmm. Have you come to pray for your brother and father? I'd be happy to ask for the Maker's blessings with you. So, since uh, I'm a noble, I'm, uh, I very much believe in the Maker and the Chantry and all that. I'm not a devoted, though. Um, so, I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go... Actually, I'm gonna go... I would appreciate that, Mother Malol. Please, child. Call me Malol. I've known you since you were a wee babe, after all. Creator of the sky, the land, and the sea. Hear your people in our time of need. Make you watch over us. Let no man have cause to fear the shadows. Let their souls be lifted upon your return. So let it be. Make you forgive us all. There now. I'll be keeping a vigil tonight. You're welcome to come. There are many more who must receive the Maker's blessings before they leave. If you would excuse me. Uh, I should go anyway. We shall talk once the soldiers have departed. Right ho. I'm going to go and see if I can get into our... Good evening, my lord. Um... Yes. keep knocking down these doors, don't I? So what do we have here? A maze. And this is locked. And this is also locked. Um, I ha we have... Um, let's see the map. I think... Study library. So in here is our uh, armor all our armor. I might have some in my room as well. Um, since I'm a warrior, maybe I should pick up that mace anyway, just in case. don't really like having the knife. So, grab that. See if I can use it. Okay. See if I can get in here. Oh, my lord, we were just. Uh... Okay, so they were playing cards, and that's a big no-no. Playing cards. Well, uh, well, the treasury's safe. I'm not even sure why the town stationed us here. Um. 
Have you always questioned your duties? No, my lord. Of course not. Then perhaps you better get back to work. Or will I be like, I'll forget about it this time? Yes, my lord. Thank you. We won't forget this. Yes, of course you won't. So, let's see. Can I get in here? It's very locked and I can't get in. Okay. Just gonna close the door after me. And now they're on guard. Guarding the family treasury. Mm, I'm going to go in here, but I first I want to talk to my mother. And she's here. And my dear Bryce bought this back from Orlais last year. The Marquis who gave it to him was drunk, I understand, and mistook Bryce for the king. Ah, here is my younger son. I take it by the presence of that troublesome hound of yours that the situation in the kitchen is handled? Uh, I'm going to be respectful to my mother. Um, I'm not very respectful to my father, but um, I should have been, actually. Um, Nan's head exploded and my hound is the kitchen staff. <laughs> Alright. Um, yes, mother. You've always had a way with her. Darling, you remember Lady Landra, Ban Lawrence's wife? I think we last met at your mother's spring salon. Um, weren't you drunk? <laughs> if you say so. Of course. It's good to see you again, my lady. I'm very polite. I'm well brought up. You're too kind, dear boy. Didn't I spend half the salon shamelessly flirting with you? Oh, right dear. in front of your family, too. You remember my son, Dyron. I believe you two sparred in the last tourney. And you beat me handily, as I recall. It's good to see you again, my lord. Um, you're being modest. You fought very well. And this is my lady-in-waiting, Iona. Do you say something, dear? It is a great honor, my lord. I have heard many wonderful things about you. Oh, Don't look you? now, Eleanor. But I believe the girl has a crush on your lad. <laughs> Lady Landra! Hush, Landra. You'll turn the poor thing scarlet. Um... <clears throat> Yes, I'm going to go. I'm going to be really cheeky. So I'm going to go like, yeah, perhaps we can speak alone sometime, you, you or no? As it pleases you, my lord. I think perhaps I shall rest now, my dear. Dyron, I will see you and Iona at supper. Perhaps we'll retire to the study for now. So now they're Good going evening, off. your lordship. I'm going to talk to Mum. You should say goodbye to Fergus while you have the chance. Um, <clears throat> why can't I go with Father and Fergus? I know it's difficult to stay in the castle and watch others ride off, but we must see to our duties first. You understand that, don't you? I could make a difference. You are here. Trust me, you'll get your chance for excitement soon enough. Um, did you know there's a Grey Warden here? Yes, your father mentioned that. You haven't got it into your head that you want to be recruited. Yes, I have. <laughs> Would that be so bad? There's enough here at the castle to occupy you. I don't need you off chasing danger like your brother. Oh, dear. Uh, do you know where Fergus is? If he's not out with his men, probably upstairs with Oriana. Are you going to stay at the castle? For a few days. Then I'll travel with Lady Landra to her estate and keep her company for a time. Your father thinks my presence here might undermine your authority. Yes, it might, actually. <laughs> I was about to suggest that myself. Delightful. Then there's no argument. Uh, I should go. I love you, my darling boy. You know that, don't you? Um, what brought this on? You've grown up so fast. And now Bryce is leaving you in charge of the castle. I suppose there's no point in dwelling on it. Go do what you must then. I will see you soon. So, now I'm going to go back <clears throat> to the study. I 
so at this point, actually I'm going to check what my name is, Aiden. So Aiden here uh, fancies the elf girl. Not as a love interest, but you know, oh, this was the wrong place. Not as a love interest, but as um Good evening, my lord. Well, she she fans at him, so maybe, you know, he can have his way with her. Yes. Yes. This is funny. But I'm gonna do the quick route, I think. Hello, my dear boy. By chance I am beginning to teach these young squires about your family's history. Uh, do we have to? History is boring. Boys, you are referring to the Kuslans? The very family in whose castle you live? Show some respect. <laughs> um, yeah, they could do with some discipline. Perhaps you could help me with that. Might you join me in teaching this lesson? Um, no, I'm quite familiar with the subject matter. Perhaps you could make the topic more palatable for these lads. And their minuscule intellects. <laughs> minuscule intellects. <laughs> oh god, I doubt that's possible. Very well. Okay, so now you get to hear a little bit about the noble origin Kuslan family. Wonderful. Oh, the Kuslan history is long indeed. Where shall we start? Um, well... We... Predate the founding of the kingdom, yes? Well, I'm glad some of my lessons don't disappear into that yawning chasm between your ears, young man. Uh, don't advise insulting me, old man. <laughs> it's your skill as tutor, of course. If I were truly a skilled tutor, I suspect I would not encounter such insouciance uppers forward in keeping the town your family drove or lay at any rate your family has held the tourneur of high ever since before king callan had united ferelden in fact tierna elathea kusland battled callan had to maintain high ever's independence oh, so we lost some things there as you heard um the audio bugged out um, I suppose, um, and Callan had let us, uh, let us keep the turn, turn in, turn in. <laughs> Callan had wished to unite Ferold and not conquer it. After Elathea's men were defeated, Callan had asked her to swear fealty. The boulder where they held council still stands today as a memorial of that event. Okay, time to end the lesson, I think. Oh, thank you for indulging an old man. Oh, yes, yes. Does that mean we have to listen to you now? <laughs> Silence. I will not have you two becoming smart-mouthed hooligans. But perhaps you should go. I doubt they need any more distraction. I'm just going to settle in here and apparently just... Talk to myself for all the good I'm willing to do myself <laughs> all the time. All right, then. Yeah. <clears throat> so let's see what we have here. We have some nice paintings of the Circle Tower. Um, actually, it's the, uh, the Imperial Highway, but I think this is a bridge going out to the Circle Tower. And this is also nice. I haven't actually seen this a lot. It looks like um, the church, you know, uh, for the quest of the uh, ashes. And here's the circle tower. Lovely. And so I can pick up some lore. History of Ferelden. Pick up some more lore. The Olesian occupation, I guess. Is there some more? No, can I talk to the librarian? Good evening, my lord. Good evening, servant. Right, so 
going. Let's first talk to Daren. Hello again. Your castle study is wonderful. Might I ask whose collection this is? Um, it was my grandfather's. But I come here often to read. So would I. Do you have a favorite book? Um, <clears throat> the Art of Passionate Love by Brother Capria. <laughs> oh, that was banned by the Chantry, wasn't it? Quite provocative, I understand. I've, uh, never read it myself. Oh, um... It isn't really meant for reading. <laughs> I could tell you all about it. Oh, that's not necessary. Uh, perhaps another time. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> so, um... <clears throat> Yeah, I'm gonna talk to him. So, so you're going to be riding with my father, with my father tomorrow? Yes, though I don't know when. I will leave when your father does. I'll ride as his second, a glorified squire, more or less. I'll care for his horse and armor and such. It's quite an honor. Hmm. So, um, will you actually fight? I hope so. I admit to trepidation about facing Darkspawn. But I can't imagine an opponent more worthy of defeat. Hmm. Do you... <laughs> I'm not going to put him down by... You consider it an honor to do menial tasks? Actually, I am. Unlike you, I am no child of a great house. If I can rise within the ranks of your father's service, it is more than I could normally hope for. Oh. I'm a bit surprised that you're not riding alongside your brother. Is that... disappointing? <laughs> He's... Oh, he's giving it right back to me. <laughs> oh, snap. Um, are you implying something? Implying? Not at all. I'm simply curious. If you're interested, I shall curious. record what I can during the battle. My writing skills may be lacking, but I hope to convey a true sense of the warrior's experience. Writing such an important work is one of my ambitions. Um... Yes, uh, let's talk about me. I like that topic. I don't actually know you that well, my lord. You're handsome, capable, mm. but beyond mm. that, a bit of a mystery to me. Well, perhaps we should get to know each other better then. Oh, no, I'm going to ask. Oh, what am I going to do? Do I want... I want to know what he's heard about me. Everyone says you're more likely to succeed the Tan than your brother is. That the Kuzland line has never been stronger. I don't know about here, but outside your castle, people discuss your family a great deal. Some say your father should have been king instead of Caelan. But it is just talk, I think, born of affection for your father. Hmm. Well, you know, I'd like to get to know you a little bit better. I'd like that. What did you have in mind? Uh, so, why don't we go somewhere more private? Gladly. But your mother is expecting me for dinner shortly, as is mine. Perhaps another time? Uh, why don't you come to my room later tonight? I suppose I could see you after everyone is asleep for something of a more intimate nature, if that is what you mean. Is that what you want? I think I do. Oh. <laughs> well, I don't. Forget I said anything. No, I'm going to go with... Well, I'll see you tonight. I look forward to it. I shall see you then. Right. So I've never done that. I've always hit on Iona. Let's see if I still can do that. That is a wonderful dog. He seems very noble and intelligent. Mmm. Yes. Greetings once again, my lord. Um, you are very pretty, if I may see, say so. I'm my lord very is very forward. kind. Thank you. Um, I think we should get to know each other better. Are we doing just that? What else did you have in mind? Hmm. 
something more intimate later on in my room? Did I not overhear you proposing the same to Lady Landra's son? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Whatever you are thinking, I want nothing of it. Oh. Please excuse me. She turned me down. <laughs> Amazing. I love that. <laughs> oh, did he hear me? I thought I was going to get a threesome, but no. Greetings once again, my lord. Yes. No, I'm, I'm going to go. Good evening. Farewell, my lord. Good luck on managing this castle in the coming months. I imagine it shall be very difficult. Hmm. <laughs> oh, that was so funny. <laughs> right. Um, okay, so now let's go find Fergus. Look at this. Isn't that fantastic? And look at this. I I just love all these details. It's it's so amazing. And like um Yeah. Oh wait. I went the wrong way, didn't I? Where am I? I'm lost. I should go up here. Okay. Here we go. Here's mother. And it's locked. Can I talk to God? Good evening, my lord. Good evening. Uh, everything here is locked, so I'm just gonna. I'm not gonna bash it open. I'm going to go and see... is this... this is my room, I think? Yeah, this is my room. Um, I should have equipment here, maybe I get it first. Okay, so I don't get it until... Anyway, this is my room. Isn't it lovely? Look at this picture. And look at the bed. I'd like a bed like this. It's very high, though. So, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> And, oh, here's my father, and here's my mother, again. Lovely. Is there really going to be a war, Papa? Will you bring me back a sword? That sword, Oren. And I'll get you the mightiest one I can find, I promise. I'll be back before you know it. I wish victory was indeed so certain. My heart is disquiet. Don't frighten the boy, love. I speak the truth, and here's my little brother to see me off. Now dry your eyes, love, and wish me well. We have the same eye color. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just really happy that I have the same eye color as someone in my family. Uh, right. Um, <clears throat> no, d so I do love my my uh, my nephew. Uh, so much. So I'm going to be really kind to him. Even though I kind of hate snotty kids otherwise. So no darkspawn could harm Fergus. He is as mortal as anyone, despite his refusal to believe. Now, love, no need to be grim. Um, oh, I'm gonna tell him, did you know there's a Grey Warden in the castle? Really? Was he riding a griffin? Shh, Oren. Griffins only exist in stories now. I'd heard that. Did he say why he's come? He says he's rec recruiting. Oh, if I were a Grey Warden, little brother, I'd have my eye on you. Not that father would ever allow it. Um, I wish I could go with you. I wish you could come. It'll be tiring killing all those darkspawn myself. Surely your father would not place both his heirs in danger? Mother and father have been fighting about it for days. It's too bad. I could have used you at my side. Um, you'll be missed, brother. If it's any consolation, I'm sure I'll freeze in the southern rain and be completely jealous of you up here, warm and safe. I am positively thrilled that you will be so miserable, husband. <laughs> okay. Do you really think the war will be over quickly? Word from the south is that the battles have gone well. 
There's no evidence that this is a true blight, just a large raid. Could that be true? I'll see for myself soon enough. Pray for me, love, and I'll be back within a month or two. I bring a message from Father. Uh, I bring a message. Father wants, wants you to leave without him. Then the Isle's men are delayed. You'd think his men were all walking backwards. <sighs> well, I'd better get underway. So many darks born to be ahead, so little time. Off we go then. I'll see you soon, my love. I would hope, dear boy, that you plan to wait for us before taking your leave. Be well, my son. I will pray for your safety every day you are gone. Oh dear. Um, Fergus will be fine. I keep telling you, no darkspawn will ever best me. The Maker sustain and preserve us all. Watch over our sons, husbands and fathers, and bring them safely back to us. And bring us some ale and wenches while you're at it. Uh, for the men, of course. <laughs> Fergus, you would say this in front of your mother? What's a wench? Is that what you pull on to get the bucket out of the well? A wench is a woman that pours the ale in a tavern, Oren. Or a woman who drinks a lot of ale. Christ, maker's breath. I swear, it's like living with a pack of small boys. I'll miss you, mother dear. You'll take care of her brother, won't you? Oh, yes. You'll need protecting more than her. I agree. Especially if you get yourself hurt. I will never forgive you. Now that is a good incentive, wouldn't you say? <laughs> enough. <laughs> enough. Pup. You'll want to get an early night. You've much to do tomorrow. Okay. So let's see if I can talk to the little boy. Mama says you're going to be watching over us while Papa is gone. Is that true, Uncle? Uh, yes, that's true, Oren. What if the castle is attacked? Will there be dragons? Dragons are terrible creatures, Oren. They eat people. Yeah, I want to see one. This is your influence, Fergus. What? I didn't say anything. Are you going to teach me to use a sword, Uncle? Then I can fight evil too. Yes, of course. Take that, dire bunny. All dark spawn. Fear my sword of truthiness. Truthiness? We're teaching him about honesty. Don't worry, son. You'll get to see a sword up close real soon. I promise. Hmm. He actually will get to see his sword up real clo close very soon. Um, can I talk to Fergus again? Getting sent to bed early, are we? I don't mind, I have someone waiting for me. What? You sly dog. Fergus, really? <laughs> well, I sure hope he's worthy of your time, or I'll have to have a chat with the fellow. <laughs> At any rate, I'll miss you. Take care of everyone, and be here when I get back. <laughs> Gonna talk to Oriana? If you should need any assistance in the coming days, I would be glad to offer it. Best do as your father says, darling. I will see you in the morning, bright and early. You should be on your way, pup. Long day ahead tomorrow. Uh, about this Grey Warden. Ah. I was wondering how long this would take. Has he asked to recruit you? Uh, no. Oh, uh, he hasn't. I was just wondering about him. If a blight is truly upon us in the South, then Grey Wardens will be needed. There is no higher calling. If it comes to that, we can talk about it when I get back. Until then, just show him every courtesy. Duncan is a fine man. And a hero. <sighs> Are you sure you'll be all right? Your brother and I go into battle, not an afternoon tea. Who knows what will happen to us? I will tell you, however. You're my cherished son. I love you. And I trust you completely to carry on the Kuzlin name if the worst should happen. But don't worry about me, dear boy. You'll have enough to occupy your mind while I'm gone. I'll go now. I know that you'll do me proud. You've grown into a fine lad. That much is clear. Okay, so uh, uh, for if if I would uh, um, 
if if I'm going to decide on my character and his motivation for the rest of the game, um, what my father just told me that he would expect me to carry forward the Kuslan name no matter what. Uh, that is uh, what I would base my character on then and role play it as um, some type of power seeking, power hungry. Um, walk over dead corpses type of person. Okay. I'm sorry, I've been trying to quiet him, but he won't have it. I don't know why he's so angry. Um, perhaps something is wrong. No, I'm just gonna go like, ah, oh, I can put him out in the hall. But why is he barking in the first place? Something's got him riled. Wait here, I'm going to see if there's something out in the hall. Oh dear. Yep, so there I am, totally naked, and my uh, my lover has just been <laughs> cut down. <laughs> oh god, what a situation, right? Uh, okay, so just take a few seconds to look at this light. It's amazing, except that it actually comes shines through the bed here, but otherwise, it's very 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 pretty and all the dust little dust motes in the air so um, I have all my equipment here in the chest uh, so I need to go and get it it's the first thing so my doggy needs to go and attack this guy I think no he's an archer he needs to go and attack that guy and I need to go and grab my gear <laughs> Uh, right. And pause. And so, get dressed. And there we go. So, um, this is a bit unfair. Wait. Why didn't, why did it have a minus four armor? Hmm? Alright. Um, I'm gonna roleplay this. <laughs> so I'm actually going to fight these guys, but I'm just going to go and grab my swords and then fight them butt naked. So, yep. And there. There we go. So, kill him. If you instead of... I'm gonna rip you a new one. And I dinged. Now this should be fun. No, it was stuck. No, it was both of us. Good doggy. Good doggy. Right. And I'm off. Okay, so now I'm gonna understand that something is wrong and I'm going to go and get dressed. Um, before I do that, however, I'm going to level up. Uh, so I'm gonna get myself t uh, 20 in strength. And I'm going to give myself um, one more point in dexterity. Uh, so dexterity improves um, uh, stuff like uh, crits and um, dodging incoming blows and etc. 
Uh, I really, 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 really like um, an offensive. Hmm. Maybe I should um, sustain powerful. Yeah, okay, grab this one. And I'm gonna get dressed. So I'll. I got my noble clothing. Um, so, but I understand that I might need. Um, I might need some, uh, some armor. I'm not gonna use this, by the way. I'm gonna get dressed in my. in my Kuslin stuff. There we go. And I'm gonna wear my belt. And that's it, I think. The mace is pretty, pretty bad. So, yeah. Okay. Um, so. I'm going to cut this episode into two parts. I'm just going to level dog because it's uh, easier to upload. Uh, no, I want you to have more strength. So um, I'm I'm going to um, stop here, um, but I'm going to continue recording. I'm going to um, upload both of these episodes at the same time. So see you in a bit. Thank you for watching.